to. This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined with Giorgio Vizioli here at the press conference for, um, I suppose, your stablemate Johnny Fisher, Alan Babich, yourself, you're on the undercard. Um, I suppose all ready to go on, uh, on Saturday the 6th of July. Yeah, ready to go. Had a uh, decent training. Uh, obviously, I fought in Leeds, so it weren't long ago. I went, kind of had a few days off and uh, went straight back to it. And uh, yeah, excited. Sold a few tickets. Uh, fans, friends can come along and um, yeah, re ready to go now. I'm excited, really excited. I was going to say that only boxing in Leeds about probably about six or seven weeks ago. So have, yeah, I was going to say having that having that sort of straight into camp. It's what you need when you're a young fighter. Definitely, activity is key. Um, as many fights as possible, and that's what I want. Uh, that's, that's my uh, goal, not goals, but you know what I mean. That's my. That's what I want for the end of the year. Just keep fighting, and then next year, yeah, we step out, whatever belts, whatever. You know what, 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 the, what the boxing does, but yeah, just uh, activity now. I suppose when it comes to yourself as well, when you've got all your stable mates in camp as well, I think uh, Mark's gonna have five fighters, yeah. uh, five fighters all uh, all across different shows. Mm -hmm. Does it make it that little bit little bit better because like you're all, I suppose you may be at different, st different stages, but it's all like you're all vi buying towards one day. Yeah, it's good. Everyone, every, we got five of us, and we've all had a training, this pretty much training camp together. Yeah. Uh, Mark's been busy, but you know. Uh, it's done good with us, Mark, and uh, I hope everyone's victorious on Saturday. Does it, I suppose, does it feel good that I suppose he, he, he will be in your corner? Because obviously, the couple of times he hasn't been. So, how do you how do you deal with that? Would you say because it is it is a bit of a frustrating thing, but it's what comes when you when you've got a busy stable. Yeah, um, yeah. Mark, Mark hasn't been for the last two fights. Um, obviously, I was disappointed, but I can't complain. Uh, he's been he's been through all the whole camp. He has not missed. Day of training, so um, yeah, I was disappointed, um, especially the one before with Elbrook. But it's is what it is, you know. Um, he understands, but uh, but yeah, no, I'm happy that I've got finally Mark in the corner. Um, I, I did miss him in the last fight. You, you want him in there, you know. Um, I've had luckily I've had uh, my old amateur coach Steve won everything in the amateurs, so yeah, he stepped in, and I can't thank him enough. And I'll bring him. I'm going to bring him along for most of my fights now. So uh, yeah. And I suppose a lot gets made of, of the stoppages that you've got, and it's, you know, it's free fights, free knockouts. And when it comes to being a puncher, is it hard sometimes, especially at this stage in career, to not almost like fall in love with your power, know that you know, sort of, you're still developing in a way. So it's hard not to not to fall in love with that power, I guess. Yeah, I won't let, let it get to, uh, like, because obviously I keep going on about the amateurs, but I didn't never do, I didn't stop no one in the amateurs, and uh, I'm just going to keep going into every fight, like like the amateurs, and don't think that I'm going to. Don't let it get in my head, oh, I'm going to knock this guy out, I've got power now, blah, 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 no. Um, I've always had power. Um, it's just difficult to show in the amateurs. And now I'm showing it because I can set my feet a little bit. I'm not at 100 mile an hour. I'm not, what, 40 miles an hour. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, um, I won't let it get to me, the power. I'll just always go in there. Yeah, just do my job and uh, we'll see. They run forward and uh, you never know. You mentioned there about it almost being like you're pumping the brakes a little bit. It's no, things are at 40 mile an hour now instead of 100 mile an hour. Is that hard, was that a hard thing to ever, ever sort of get sort of deal with, I guess, initially? What transition? Transitioning, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not really. I re uh, really, surprisingly, I didn't think I'd transition that quickly. I think it took me maybe a few fights. Honestly, it's gone like I've transitioned really well straight into it. Um, uh, a, long, a lot of fighters take a while, you know. Uh, but no, uh, the pace it suited me. I, bef I much prefer it. In the amateurs, I've all, I was always bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. You know what I mean? I was so, it was so quick, and you never, you never get time to think. And now I've got time to actually, you know what I mean? Think. In the, in the amateurs, you just throw in whatever comes at you, you just quickly like that. Uh, now, set my feet and uh, people walking under shots, and, uh, and I got the reactions and the speed to catch them. And with this obviously being a, a, a next-gen show for Matram, they have a lot of prospects, and um, you, you being one of them, and there's a lot of guys around your weight being one of them. Obviously, I know we've previously spoken more about Giorgio Vizio, not Giorgio Vizio, at least, sorry. We talked about Cameron Vong and other fighters like that. Excited that, you know, maybe not yet, but down the line, you know, you could share a wing with, with these guys. Definitely, um, there's a lot of prospects. There's a lot of prospects um, in the Matram scene, not just Matram, Frank Warren, all of them. Um, that I see myself fighting them in a, uh, in a few years down the line. Um, I wouldn't say now because that's not really my path. At the moment, my path is learning. You know, I don't don't need to call out anyone. I think it's just silly. I don't want to rush my success. You know, uh, and have a long, good career. So I'm not going to call anyone out. But yeah, if the fights will happen one day. I, I'm sure about. 
Sure, Giorgio, as always, thank you for taking time to speak to me. Appreciate it. Yeah, all the best, mate. All the best.